Hi everyone, welcome back. For those who are watching my channel videos for the first time, my name is Jay Surya. I'm a study abroad advisor and an Ivy League graduate. Over the past half a decade, I've guided thousands of students to top universities across the world. And in this particular video, I'm going to address a particular specialization which is very popular among um, especially people with IT work experience. It's called MS in Management Information Systems. So let's dive into the video and understand why you should pursue an MIS and whether it's a right fit for you or not and what is MIS. There are many masters abroad aspirants from IT background who do not want to pursue the traditional MS in computer science path or you know become software developers post that degree. So for such kind of aspirants um, you know who want to kind of explore the techno managerial kind of job roles, masters in management information systems is a great option. So now let's understand what is the Masters in Management Information Systems course. The MIS course is designed to make IT professionals into techno managers. Its aim is to produce IT managers who can lead projects and companies. For example, let's look at Carnegie Mellon University's MIS program, which is consistently ranked world number one for 22 years now. In CMU's curriculum, you not only see core IT courses, such as database management, objective oriented programming, etc. But also courses such as systems management, organizational design, finance and accounting, entrepreneurship, professional speaking skills, etc. which instill managerial skills in you. MIS courses also offer concentrations in cloud computing, software development, data analytics, cyber security, and more recently, artificial intelligence and machine learning, giving you the flexibility to choose uh, which domain you want to specialize in based on the jobs you're targeting once you graduate. Now let's understand who should pursue MIS. Now, since this is an IT related field, you should have some sort of academic background in computer science or IT or data science, etc. Even if you come from a non-IT field, you should have at least a few years of work experience in the IT domain. I personally believe MIS courses should be applied by students with at least one or more years of work experience in the IT field. You can apply without work experience as well, but universities prefer students with work experience because only if you know how software companies or IT companies work and what are the product li development li life cycles within those companies is when you can actually relate to the coursework and also understand what are the gaps within your skill set and you can take the necessary coursework to fill those gaps and then apply for IT jobs post graduation. Now let's understand what are the kind of job roles you can pursue post graduation and what is the average pay. MIS graduates pursue roles such as product manager, product owner, member of technical staff, enter enterprise architect manager, IT consultant, business intelligence engineer, etc. Et the average pay usually is upwards of 100,000 US dollars. But if you are someone with good prior uh, work experience, you can even expect to uh, get salaries beyond 150 to 100,000 US dollars per annum as well. Now let's look at what are some of the top universities offering MIS programs in the USA. Number one, as I've said before, is Carnegie Mellon's Masters in Management Information Systems program. It offers two pathways. One is the 16-month pathway, where the duration of the course is 16 months, and the other is a much shorter 12-month pathway. The other equally good, highly selective programs are University of California Berkeley's MIMS program, that is Masters in Information Management and Systems program, and there is New York University's Masters in Information Systems program, which are equally good to CMU's program. And uh, as I said, as you have guessed, these are very, very selective programs, very low chances of getting into such programs. In case you have the profile, you can definitely aim for that. The other slightly less selective programs are University of Washington Seattle's MIS program, University of Arizona's, Texas A&M University College Stations and Indiana University Bloomington's MIS program. There are also some less selective uh, good quality MIS programs offered by University of Texas Dallas, which is called uh, Masters in Information Technology Management. George Washington University offers a great MIS program and also University at Buffalo, that is Sunny Buffalo. And there are many good MIS programs offered by other universities. 
So my final verdict is MIS is the best course for those who want to transition into techno managerial roles rather than stick to core tech roles. MIS course offers great industry relevant coursework, projects and also access to diverse job pathways. So I hope that gives you some clarity about the MIS course and whether it's a right fit for you or not. If you have any questions, do comment them below and I'll get back to you at the earliest. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel um, in order to get more information about uh, Masters Abroad. Um, as usual, if you want any sort of one-on-one -on -one guidance regarding the entire application process, do uh, call us. Our number is available in the description below. Um, I hope to see you in my next video.